Hey guys, Mr. Avil is here, and I'm in my Google Drive because I want to show you how you can transport and protect your Minecraft worlds using Google Drive. So let's say that you create something at school and you want to work on a Minecraft world at home, or you create something at home and you work on one, you want to work on it at school. Or as you know, there's no, uh, everybody doesn't have their own computer. So if you work on one computer, but somebody else is working on that computer next time you come in, it's important that you know how to transport and back up your Minecraft worlds. And we're going to do that using Google Drive. Um, so the first thing we have to do is make sure that we can find our, uh, our world saves. And depending on if you are using regular Minecraft, which is what we're going to talk about first, is regular Minecraft, you're going to have to go to the control panel and you're going to have to set it so you can see hidden files. Because by default, Minecraft saves are hidden. That means if you go and look for them, you won't be able to find them. At school, you have permission to uh, navigate through hidden files. But at home, make sure you ask your parents. But the way that you're going to make hidden files visible is by going to Control Panel. I'm still working on Windows 8.1, uh, so it might be different if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 10, but the Control Panel all winds up being the same. When I get to the Control Panel, I just type in Hidden, uh, and then it's going to have Folder Options, Show Hidden Files and Folders. I'm going to click on that. What you're looking for is this button right here. If you leave it on Don't Show Hidden Files or Folders, your regular Minecraft worlds will not be visible when you go searching for them. If you come down to Show Hidden Files and Folders, you'll be able to navigate to your Minecraft worlds. Again, in school, uh, you're allowed to do that. At home, make sure it's okay with your parents. So I'm going to go Show Hidden Files Folders. I'm going to hit Apply. And now I'm going to go into my Google Drive. I'm going to go up to New. I'm going to go to Folder Upload. And now I'm going to navigate to my Minecraft saves through this box here. Uh, I know that it's under my name. I know that it's in App Data, Roman, Minecraft, and then Saves. And then you will see my maps here. So let's say I wanted to back up my ED map. I would click on ED map, and then I would hit OK. And you'll notice down here at the bottom right, 17.5 megabytes, which is the entire map, is getting uploaded to Google Drive. You will see that the ED map has updated, and so now I know it's backed up. I can't open it in Google Drive. Google's not going to know what to do with any of these files. Uh, but I can, because Google Drive is a cloud-based system, I can open up Drive at home, and there's my map. I can open up at school, and there's my map. So it's about taking it from a hard drive, putting it into the cloud, and now we're going to bring it out of the cloud back into the hard drive. So I'm going to click on my ED map, because let's say that I've got home and I want to work on it, and I'm going to go to Download. It's going to start downloading as a zip file, and you can see down here it's done. By default, it is going to go to your Downloads folder. And of course, you might need something like WinRAR or WinZip to open this. Uh, I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and you will see there is my map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. And again, since I am doing uh, regular Minecraft, not Minecraft EDU, I'm going to navigate to the Minecraft EDU folder. Uh, I'm going to leave my window open so you can see I have WinRAR still open here. I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to pick my name. I'm going to go to App Data, Roman, Minecraft saves, and then I'm going to drag my world into that folder. Uh, and for now, I'm just going to hit skip. Actually, I'm going to cancel because I don't want to overwrite that for now. So I'm just going to get out of there. But that's basically what we, you would do. So uh, you can see here it's going to be your name or maybe that's your parents' name, and then it's app data, Roman, Minecraft, saves, and each folder represents a world and you need everything in that folder. Uh, so now we're going to do the same process for Minecraft EDU, if that's what you're using. Uh, you can see that Minecraft EDU is saved to the uh, C drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Google Drive. And we are going to, I'm going to delete this for now. Uh, we are going to upload a folder from Minecraft EDU, right? We just did regular Minecraft, now we're going to do Minecraft EDU. So I'm going to go to my C drive, uh, which is under this PC. 
I'm going to go to C Drive, Minecraft EDU, Minecraft, Saves, and then you will see my world, and the world I want to save is flat, so I'm going to click OK, and you're going to see it's uploading the world that I created that I had named flat. So whatever you name your world, that's what it's going to be named on your folder. And so that's going to go ahead and upload. You can see that it's finished uploading, and again, this is what you want to do if you, uh, you know, if you create something in Minecraft before you leave the Innovation Lab, you should really back up your world to your Google Drive. So that way you can uh, load it to any computer or you can work on it at home. So I'm going to take this flat world, I'm going to download it, because again, let's say I'm now moving computers. I come in next week, I'm moving computers, you can see that uh, the flat world has downloaded. I'm going to go into the Explorer and uh, go to my downloads folder. I'm going to open up flat and so you can see that's my Minecraft world. So now I'm going to navigate to again C drive, Minecraft EDU, Minecraft, saves and you can see flats there because uh, I'm going to overwrite this one so I'm going to drop it and so I'm going to overwrite this one because this is the new version okay and so since it's the new version I'm totally cool with placing the files and so once I replace these files, it's now updated to the new version I've been working on. I was okay with overwriting that file because I knew that was the most up-to-date newest file. Make sure you're careful. If you have a world with the same name as another world that's already there, it will ask you if you want to overwrite or replace the files. If you choose yes, you're actually going to delete whatever is being overwritten. So one thing you might want to do is start naming your worlds as different versions, maybe 1.1, and then you make some changes, and now you have 1.2 uh, as a way to continue to work on a world but not lose the old world by overwriting it. But that's totally up to you. If you're confident that your new world is what you want it to be, when you move it out of drive into school or at home, you can overwrite it, and it'll be gone forever with the new world, the one that exists. Or if you aren't sure, you can get in the habit of renaming your world. So if I worked on this world flat and I renamed it after I, you know, let's say I just downloaded this out of Drive and I'm going to name it, you know, 1.1. Well, when I go into Minecraft EDU, if I go to Start Minecraft EDU, I'm going to go to down here to Minecraft EDU and launch you'll see now that I named that flat world 1.1 after I give myself my name and I go to single player you'll see it flat now it's called 1.1 so that's one way just to keep track of how you handle your worlds so you can rename them if you want to uh, or you can overwrite them it's really what's going to be best for you Right, so if I rename this now, let's say I do some more work and I make a copy, I can even do this, I can file, excuse me, I can right click, I can go to copy, I can paste, and now I'll rename this as 1.2. And when I go into Minecraft EDU, I'll back out of it and I'll go to single player, now you see I have 1.2. So this is the older version, and then I make some changes, now it's 1.2. So that's something else that you can do, is come up with a naming system for your worlds. Uh, but again, this is totally up to you. If you're confident, overwrite it, and keep working on the most up-to-date version. If you're not so sure, and you want to uh, right-click, make a copy, and make it a new version, that's up to you too. You've got to find out the best way uh, that you work. Otherwise, that's it.